Today is Saturday, October 1, 2016. This is a 11 year old male neutered Shih Tzu coming in with a complaint of skin disease one month after going to the groomer for shaving board. The owner discovered ringworm like lesions on the body and they are quite big rings, as you can see, example here. And uh, under ultraviolet light, efflorescence. And uh, under microscopic examination, I can see the hyphae. So these are likely to be dermatophytes or ringworm. And uh, now my assistant will disc describe how to use the test, which is called an in tray. In tray and rich dermatophyte medium to culture the ringworm and uh, she will continue now with the process of how to do it. Okay, stop. Okay, the instrument to use is the uh, sterile scissors and forceps. Okay. And how to collect the sample, I will use my four fingers and thumb. Clean ones? Clean. After cleaning, washing it, okay. Okay, by pulling the hair About two on the periphery of the ring. ring. Two and centimeter. Then cut it using the scissors. Cut the lower end, okay. About two centimeter. Okay, put okay. it down. Pull some more. We might need more. We might need some more. We might need some more just in case there. Different, so different parts. Collect, mm, no, I mean different red. parts of the ring. Yeah. Let's say another one. They're here. Okay, there's another one. Two centimeter at least. Okay. Near the edge of the ring. Okay. And then she cuts away the top part. Top part is normally uninfected. Okay, so they have two samples from two different areas. Okay, now what she's going to do next? Now I will. You see the entry medium. I wish we had already written down the the name of the patient, the date. Is, is the date written? Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Now. What should I do? The next step. Open the lid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. Open the lid. Remove the seal. Then. Put down the table to do. Put the. Okay. So two samples. Put the so samples here. After hair cut, really right? Mm. Inoculate in. Three, three to six pieces. Inoculate in. Inoculate. That means push in. It's called inoculate. Deep in. Uh, into the medium. So that it can grow. It will just put on the surface. It's, it's not inoculation. Okay, finish. Then what's the next step? Then you need to cover it up. Seal it up again. Seal up again. Okay, then uh, we will put into the dark place for 1 to 14 days. And uh, every day, the vet will check under the microscope for two things, change in colour and the growth of white colonies. Now if, if the colour is, the medium is changed to red, then uh, the vet will check under the microscope for the different types of uh, dermatophytes as you can see in this, in this uh, leaflet. So they, they did give you a guide on the dermatophyte ident identification. What's the first one? One, two, microsporium. The third one is microsporium. Fourth one, microsporium of different species. Fifth one is trichophyton. One, two, three, four. Four species. So there are different, uh, different uh, structure under the microscope. So you can identify them two to four days after inoculation and incubation in a dark place. 
So she will put it in a dark place, probably in a drawer, dark place, at room temperature. At room temperature. No better put, put somewhere in the drawer so that we remember. Here. Then, uh, then uh, so the, the white colonies, now there will be white colonies. The white colonies are actually, according to the literature here, we read the results. So, basically, the mixed growth will consist of dermatophytes and serophytes, which is contaminants. And the serophytes are, seprophytes are actually white in color. Or even uh, uh, yellow, black, or brown, or green. Now, positive results are, are between 1 to 14 days. Medium color changes the rate at the location of the specimen. And the whitish colonies grow around it, yeah. Negative is no colony growth or color change 14 days after inoculation. So now we have to wait at least 14 days. And uh, of course, if the dog has been treated, boring room, there will be no, uh, no positive results. Okay, so you can bring the dog back already. This is the end of this uh, description of the use of in tray and rich dermatophyte medium for dermatophyte culture and uh, the main main uh, procedure for collection is actually here and if you can see it's given in detail how to do it how to do it we are just collecting hair samples but you can collect also nail scrapings and skin scrapings as well. So you can see from this side the introduction. Introduction transfers of the product, reagents, storage and the keynotes regarding specimen collection. You can see it's quite detailed. So we are just doing hair samples where you can do skin scrapings if there are no hairs and then the nails as well. So basically this is the overall description of how to how to culture dermatophytes in a case of suspected dermatophyte in infection in the dog or cat. Today is Saturday, October 1, 2, 0, 1, 6, Topayo Vex. In three, enriched dermatophyte medium for culture of ringworm. Today is 3rd of October 2016, we checked the entry and as you can see, one of the two inoculated areas changed to red in color, showing the presence of the dermatophyte being cultured. Now, we will put it back into the dark area and uh, check again another two days so actually this more or less confirmed that there is dermatophyte in the hair which we took out for culture now the in-trade DM test cost about a uh, hundred dollars and so uh, many owners don't uh, want to use it so now we need to check under the microscope as to what type of what type of dermatophyte it is. Today is October 3, 2016, Topayo Vets. 
12 noon date Three, uh, October 32016. You can see the reddish colony in one of the two samples inoculated into the medium, the enriched nematophyte medium. And uh, this pinkish colony in one of the two samples indicate the growth of nematophytes. And uh, we were review again after another two more days of incubation to our fire vets October 3 to 016 a ringworm in a dog as shown in the previous video